Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Today I'm going to discuss with my brother Basam and um he's going to explain certain things that can really help us to understand um Germany school applications, opportunities in Germany. Every day we are talking about Canada, US. Come on, brother. Thank you. Uh, How are you, Peter? Nice, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. You have also have the passion to help other people, and um, I've gotten to know you for months now. Can you give a brief introduction about you so that people can know you? And um, yeah. Well, uh, my name is Basam Mohamed Zainuddin. I'm from Kumasi, specifically Old Tafuzongo. Yeah, you are from where Kumasi? Yeah. Old Tafuzongo. Kumasi Tafuzongo. Yeah. Hi. I'm a Zongo boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, nice. Nice, okay. Uh, I went to my, I mean, I completed my second day education at uh, Ghana Senior High School in Tamale. And Tamale. I went for my undergraduates at uh, University for Development Studies, War Campus. Oh, War Campus. I graduated in 2016. Yeah. 2006? 16. 16. Ah, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> And that was the time I was also writing. I see. Hey, senior. I see. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Before I start, thank you for honoring the request and maybe your passion to also add value to other people coming to my platform. I'm very happy. You know, we are all young intellectual and we are the first Muslim to be on my page. And I really appreciate that. The humbleness, the maturity you have shown, the integrity you have built yourself. Talking to you here is really a nice way of talking to you and i believe that at the end of the video people are going to learn a lot from you and um you know you're going to impact this is what africa we the youth can also do to help other people transform their life and also empower them so that they can able to also achieve whatever you i know that you have passed through a lot and um from where you started and where you have got into mm -hmm. it is an inspiration for people to also learn from what you have passed through and i believe it is going to help them because true stories people can change their mindset and also Absolutely. empower themselves so Absolutely. thank you very much and allah bless you thank very you very much, much Peter. Uh, so really senior good. how come uh, germany what, what, because I, I believe that after university we'll be looking for other venues us australia canada uk what what triggered the passion of you going to germany uh so after graduation that's uh, in 2016 i was in accra doing my national service so during the national service i went back to uds to get my transcripts and other required documents for scholarship applications i applied for about consecutively for i think five years you you said you applied what for five years scholarship <laughs> no wait i like years. i like i like how the thing is going you said you applied for scholarship five years yes you were not getting scholarship no five years no. yes every for five year, years every year you not just get the scholarship school. now you apply yes when the u.s year, cannot in that in year, you can apply for scholarship. four different schools i applied in turkey i applied in south korea i applied in uh new zealand different, different places not, none of in, them in Algeria, you. none of them. They, none of them. they reject you, Ankasa, like rejection. No, for some, not for like... example, the one I applied in South Korea, I passed the first stage, but I couldn't cross the second stage. I see. Yeah, so they so that means if someone assessed if... my application and they said I had qualified. So they forwarded my application to the agency responsible for awarding the scholarship. That was that was, was dropped. Oh. Yeah, that was so wrong. if somebody watching me and he applied for only one scholarship yeah. and now he's saying that he has given up even for five scholarship in Ghana? I applied consecutively for three years and Nothing. negative response or negative responses yeah wow uh-huh it seems you're a very calm guy and now by life we now <laughs> very that's right <laughs> that's right that's right those who know me know um, i'm very calm <laughs> how come why germany per se yeah so um 
in 2020 that during the pandemic i was in turkey i was going through facebook uh, one day and i saw the call for application to the DAD ghana website okay so I you, told my you were in coach, turkey uh, and yeah, you saw that uh, that yeah, I saw application that, uh, has opened on yes. facebook so yes, that means when people come to social media there are a lot of yeah, the in, just in, the, um, to music in facebook those, in social uh, media platforms whilst mm -hmm. other people come to TikTok to shake their bottles <laughs> and their booze and those you you there you were looking for some people are buying uh, medicine and uh, come and buy so that your bola will be big and your this thing will be small <laughs> will be tighter you there you are on facebook looking for scholarship opportunities yeah do it. so when i saw that i bookmarked that particular um, post and told myself okay this year i'm going to apply for this particular scholarship so i went to ghana i prepared all the required documents and then i applied in i think 2021 march and by april i think everything took just four weeks from application to getting the scholarship yeah it took just four weeks four weeks yeah so what what is that that scholarship when you see somebody saying that scholarship what 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 what, what, what do they mean by that it is an abbreviation for Deutsche Akademische Austauschdienst. Okay. It means German Academic Exchange Study. Yes. Uh, it is a German government scholarship that is okay, awarded is German to masters. Government yeah, scholarship. German government scholarship, yes. Awarded to masters and PhD students. Is it only brilliant or maybe if a person is with second class lower, third class lower, or upper it doesn't really matter the moment you apply uh, what are some of the technologies within that that scholarship yeah you know it is a really highly competitive scholarship so they always recommend that you have at least second class upper so that's at least scholarship is at least second class upper yes that's what they recommend okay but if you have uh, second class, lower or third class, depend on how competitive the scholarship you are applying is, you might stand a chance of oh, getting the scholarship. Okay. Yes. That's fine. So, but in terms of applying for that scholarship, will you apply to school to get admission first or you apply to get a scholarship first? Or the admission it depends. Thing come with the, scholarship? The DAAD scholarship are in uh, categories. For some scholarships, you apply to the university for a, for a course. So if you get the admission, the university will forward your details to the DAAD, and then they will consider you for the scholarship. Okay. Yeah. For some two, you apply to DAAD directly, and then they will process you. After they've awarded you the scholarship, you then apply for, for the school. school. Yes, okay. so there are different But methods. you know, in US and Canada, most of the time, the scholarship and the admission comes together mm -hmm. with maybe graduate assistantship or maybe research assistant. For or example, like my that. the program I applied, uh, I'm studying Masters in Regional Development Planning and Management. Okay. Yeah. I applied to the university, they processed my admission, gave me admission, and then forwarded my scholarship application to DAD okay. to be considered. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So normally, this scholarship, when do they open it? Because I saw it on social media platform, but I think I share on my page. Most of the time, what is the best time? Somebody is watching me, maybe he's interested in coming to Germany. What is the what is the best time for this scholarship for the person to meet this scholarship? The best time to apply is usually from July until the beginning of October. So, so that means this scholarship is still ongoing yes, right it's now. Ongoing, yes. It is still from July until the beginning of October. Some extend until the end of uh, or the middle of December. So it depends on the course, the university. Okay. So Somebody is asking that, does it come with interview, that scholarship? Do they interview you? So, for example, my case, let me use my case. You know, I told you I applied for admission before being awarded the scholarship. So the university interviewed me. Is it and they then my... interview based on the scholarship or the interview no, for the your admission? admission? They get the, the admission. So when they, they gave me the admission, they forwarded my details to DAD. So DAD shortlisted me and then the university conducted the interview on behalf of DAD. Okay. Yeah, so when I passed the interview, I received the confirmation from DAD that I've been awarded. Okay.
That's yes. great. Oh, okay. That's how it is. Oh, okay. okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. 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 So uh, that scholarship is it full scholarship? Does it take care of everything? Like, um, are they going to pay your tuition fee? Give you stipend? What? 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 Or it have categories or something like that? The they usually gives full scholarship. Full scholarship. Full scholarship yeah. So if it is full scholarship, that means they are going to pay your your tuition. You don't have anything to you pay. You don't pay anything. You don't pay anything. But the uh, scholarship is a little tricky. They give you the scholarship and say, let me, they give you the stipend and out of the stipend, you have to pay your semester contribution from it. And you also have to pay for your rent from it. So everything okay. is calculated within the stipend though it is full scholarship yes. so the money they will give you to you you to yes. pay for your rent and those kind of stuff yes, yes. so mm, they've calculated everything within that stipend okay yeah, they've, they've calculated the average cost of um, housing and then uh, average cost of living aside the housing that's uh, for food staff and also the semester contribution so depending on the university you are attending it ranges from 100 euro to 500 euro Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's a, because today I will ask you several questions about Germany because I, I really want to know. I really want to know a lot from, from this. So, um, now, what is it because of the scholarship that's why you decided to go to Germany? Of course. You know, education in Ghana is not easy. So I, when I saw this opportunity, I'm like, okay, let me try my best. Since I've uh, applied to several countries without any luck, I said, okay, perhaps 2021 was my year. So I gathered all documents and then I made people review my statement of purpose and everything. And then I applied. Then within four weeks, I got the admission, full scholarship, plane ticket paid for and everything you know i mean everything even including you can bring your family if you have family wife children all of them dad will take care of them okay so this, really this scholarship this scholarship does, does it allow you to work does it allow you to work as international student dad has regulations okay. you know um by law by law by german law you are allowed to work 20 hours per week 20 hours per week, week. Yeah. Yes, that's part time, but DAD because they are giving you full scholarship, they don't want you to, I mean, spend all your time going to work because they are paying for everything. Uh -huh. So they normally say that before you work, you have to seek for permission from them. Okay. But otherwise, by law, you are required to, you are required to work. Me. Yeah, you are allowed to work okay. for at least twenty okay. hours. Yeah. Okay. In terms of the application, is it very, you know, in terms of the selection? I know this scholarship is very, very competitive. Is it, um, the, you know, sometimes there are certain scholarships you need to go and look for this recommendation, talk about this, write this paper, write this, this. Is it all that well entailed, like if somebody is watching us right now because this scholarship is ongoing? Yeah, I think the most important document for DAD scholarship application is that uh, you must have a recommendation letter from your employer from your employer. That's one, oh, yeah. one recommendation letter from your employer and one recommendation letter from your university professor. So that may, may be that the academic and the profession. Yes. So maybe yes, the work you're doing. So and the, the most important condition for being awarded the scholarship is that you must have worked for at least two years. Okay. Yes. So now this scholarship, I, I, I want people to understand. So this scholarship is, is really talking about... Um, before you can get the scholarship, at least you have worked for maybe two, two years, years work experience. At least, at, at least, least two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. And yes. also, you must get one professor and uh, also... Give you a recommendation letter. Um, and so, <laughs> I want to ask, how would, I, how would they know that you need to work for two years and those kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, the recommendation letter will state that. Okay, the recommendation, the recommendation letter will state that you have worked there two will years. The, the, <laughs> oh, okay. the number of years you've been working I there. see. With the organization, yeah. I see. And then your CV <laughs> oh, okay. will also testify. So only the recommendation letter will state that you have worked for two years. Of course, of course. <laughs> Sometimes they even require that you bring your, uh, what is it called, your job offer. Okay. 
Sometimes, okay. but normally, if you have the recommendation letter from the employer, they it can need save any, us to prove that any extra know. exams like ILET, TOEFL, and those kind of stuff, SAT, those kind of GRE, and those kind of stuff. Is it part of the application? Uh, previously, it wasn't really strict, especially if you are from an English-speaking country. But of late, DAD is very strict with the language requirements. With the language say you must, requirements, yeah, you must have the I ILTS or the TOEFL. Okay. Yeah, now so it's, but during my somebody, time, I, I, I wrote to the school. I told them I did all my undergraduates, all my, I mean, all my education until the uh, undergraduates in English. So I was requesting that they waive my English language requirements. And they said, okay, um, they will assess my English during the interview. And then if they are satisfied, they will waive it. Otherwise, I would have to submit okay. the I I I So uh, this, this is a critical question because somebody just asked me that is language test a part of the application? And now you are confirming that it yes, is now part, right? It is. Yes, it's So strictly, if a person wants strictly. to apply to this that scholarship, which is full scholarship, that it is German scholarship, German university scholarship, some of the universities, let me say that, some of the university scholarships, right? So now, how would a person with because we are in Ghana now the person should go and write is it GRE or TOEFL or is it ILET or what what no is there, there is no opportunity or any current that you can ILTS do. or the TOEFL these two one of them you just have to write one of them ILTS or TOEFL okay so yes. that means you need to apply now it has become mandatory yeah yeah it's it's strictly a requirement now from DAD, that everyone applied regardless of the country you are coming from. Whether you, you speak English, whether you whether speak you French, speak nobody, English we don't care. Whatever. I don't know whether they give uh, they give waiver to, I mean, those English speaking countries. Like if I say English speaking, not native English. So how, okay, for this, I think that when you go to the website and you start to create the plug, you will see some of the requirement, the, the text score they need and everything. Uh, today I'm going to talk about, we are going to talk a lot about Germany, per se. With, with the, language like germany you know when i was when i was in ghana i was planning that okay i was taught it in english going to different countries with different languages and those kind of stuff as international student basically when you were going to germany were you looking at other things the challenges you're going to face you know communications and those kind of stuff were you thinking about how you can blend the other language and those kind of stuff and when you, know, when you went there because I know that sometimes some of the schools they will tell you to study one year mandatory German course or language. I don't really know about, about it. Is it part of it or how is it here? For DAD, it's, it's not like that. It depends on the course you've gotten admission to and whether the language of instruction is English or German. So if the language of instruction is German, you must study German language for at least six months at least six months. six months before you start your your course of study but if your language if the course's language of instruction is uh in english then you just study two months language course before before the, the the start of the academic year so i think that one is just to help you to be able to, to navigate your to communicate way. or something like that i think this is a great opportunity for people to also know that the various course you are going to do can also reflect about how you, you are going to learn this English and those kind of stuff. Yes, right. and DAD covers all these course but for the language too. If you are you need to learn the German language, DAD will cover that course too. Yeah. Okay, so you going there generally in Germany, in Germany as international student, how do you see the system? Do you think that it really favor um international students before i'll talk about your course and the program and everything is it is it is it generally the living and everything uh, is it advisable do you have any problem that you think you can share with other people so that they can prepare as maybe they want those who come to germany as international students uh in the words of Trini jonas he says the system is working yeah so, the system is working <laughs> yeah the system is working 24 7 24/7, the system mm -hmm. is working so you don't have to be afraid of anything yeah everything is on point i mean for yeah, germany everything, every, but everything you get is on point local food to eat girlfriends and those kind of stuff senior <laughs> that is the that is the problem the food issue is the problem the, the food issue right it, yeah you'd have to cook it yourself if you're not used to, <laughs> so you don't 
uh, don't have any gobe joint, uh, joint and those kind of stuff there right of course of course there are african markets and african restaurants so oh, okay you can always buy buy your uh, fufu powder and whatever and the fufu, oh, that, oh. that we are talking about this in <laughs> team, 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 team one. Oh, okay yeah. that's one of the problem i am facing right now so if singer. anyone is interested in coming to germany the person should you know that panic. Since, there is since nothing I came to here, panic about since i came here only two fufu have have chopped. only two i don't know oh, I, I i ate fufu this evening this evening of course of course that means you know how to cook <laughs> see me i know how to prepare no uh, my, for my, me, my I, wife, when my i wife is when i do the so she, fufu she, powder she, she it becomes like cocoa like it, it becomes like cocoa <laughs> so i've talked Unless maybe I travel to some place, they say oh, fufu, fufu, that one I will eat the fufu. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I want kukute, mubuwa, kwakure, yamofia, atentemana. You know, this local, local. Oh, God. Hmm. But, and girlfriend and the weather and those kind of things, it's very, sometimes it becomes very, Oh, okay. But all good. those, so, all, all those food stuff you've mentioned, they are available here. They are readily available. Oh, those okay. Those kukunti powder, okay. those fufu powder, banku powder. Name them. Even uh, I last week or so, I realized there was this contumbri. Contumbri. Can can contumbri. Yeah, you just buy it and then you just come and add your additives and whatever, and then it's ready to be eaten. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what are some of the schools? Maybe like, like this dad support. I think you are in Dortmund, right? Yes, I'm in Dortmund. Oh, okay. So, what are some of the schools? This dad they normally support or like you know like they really want to be part of it and you know most of the programs <clears throat> the, the for example uh, let me start there are about three scholarship categories okay one is the one is the development related postgraduate studies and then we also have the helmut schmidt program which is normally for public policy and good governance. And then we also have the Leadership for Africa Scholarship Program. Okay. So it, it depends on- So within the that, they also have different, yes, they have different of categories of scholarships. Mm. Yes, they have different scholarships. Mm. Yes. So for, <clears throat> for example, my scholarship was the special initiative for training and job creation. It, and it is going to end this year uh, in December. It was only for two years. They started in that 2020. That scholarship was there for only two for that years. One, yes, the one I. But uh, now, is uh, it open for other people to apply right now? That one is 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 going to. They are going to cancel it in December, so it's not going to be available for anyone to apply again. But other scholarship categories are available, like the one I said, so, the Elmo Schmidt program. But okay, and then this the, scholarship, do they? allow you to bring your wife and those if you're a married <laughs> person or something like somebody asked me yes if your scholarship program is more than six months yes they allow you to bring your wife or your children or both of them maybe your girl girlfriend or something like that not girlfriend married partner <laughs> married <laughs> yeah married oh, wife okay. and then children oh, okay and okay i children. see that, yes. that, 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 that is great. That's great. So the educational system in Germany, as compared to, I know you, you, you are learned, you are intellectual, what you might be, you know a lot of things, you have that wisdom and those kind of perspective. As to how the educational system compared to other people, is it really empowering you? Would you advise other people to also look at Germany schools and also uh, understand certain things? I highly recommend that people apply for this DAD scholarship. And I also heard that Germany schools, some are free. I don't that, know if it is true. That's what I'm saying. Generally, public universities are free, but uh, you, you have to pay semester contribution every semester. Okay. It ranges so from 100 maybe the school euros is free, but euros. you need to pay... You don't pay tuition. You don't pay tuition, but you pay semester contribution. And I think about 80% of that semester contribution is for your student tickets, for six, which is valid for six months so basically you are not paying anything okay it's just for your, your own good you know you pay because i don't hear that people have been talking about months. germany germany school germany schools we look at us canada us canada us german, canada UK, Ger Ger german but schools germany free. tuition free you don't pay any tuition in public university but, but i think that what also, can't you also look at the language maybe me i believe that maybe one of the reason why people don't really like germany is maybe 
probably the language barrier or something like language that. Language barrier is there, it is true, but you, you can learn. The fact that other people have been able to learn the language very well means you can also learn it. But I think it's just the mentality that, oh, German is difficult. No, I don't want to learn a foreign language, you know? So that is what is depriving people from applying for this particular scholarship. So do you also know other scholarship apart from the that scholarship that people can also look through that place? Or maybe you have heard it, buddy, talking about other scholarship in Germany? Apart from DAD scholarships, um, individual universities also offer limited scholarship. Okay. Yeah, they offer limited scholarship. And most of them are also in, in cash. And I think it's, it's about 300 euro or 500 euro or so. Yeah, it will mm. not be enough to cover all your expenses. Mm. Yeah, so the, the, mo the, the best scholarship is to go for the for the DAAD. Oh, okay. Because that one is fully funded. Yeah, you don't have to That's worry. That's fully funded, You don't right? have to worry about anything, yeah. Mm. So that means this scholarship is there for a specific group of people with specific programs. So those people with Akan, uh, uh, Dondology, your friends, uh, uh, culture and tourism. Well, aside <laughs> that, uh, Political, uh, public policy, good governance, those development programs. Political science, they also, public administration. They, they also have, they also have a scholarship for people doing fine arts courses. Fine arts. Music. 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 Yeah, architecture, specifically. Yeah, they have those scholarship categories too. Mm. Yeah, so. Okay. Those who are doing music are not left out. They can also apply for those scholarships. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay 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 that's very i think that this, this is a great opportunity and um i believe if those people who are really because some people have tried us and canada and nothing is really working for them so if they have opportunity to also channel the dash scholarship i believe it can really help them uh, as well so which university are you you can stay and find your job dortmund technical university but it is popularly called tu dortmund tu dortmund yeah that is in, in the TU means Technische Universität. That's technical hey, university. So now this yeah. is German, German. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they language. say, yeah, Technische <laughs> Universität. Right, That's the name of the university. Yeah. Those people with education, they, they can also look at it or they should go and. I think uh, it, it will be better if uh, maybe I share the link to the DAD Ghana and the DAD itself so that people can check that they will find all the details they need to know about specific programs and the requirements there. Okay. So maybe at okay. the end of this uh, okay. interview, so I'll, I'll, I'll maybe probably after the, the program, program, we'll try to share the link so that I believe yeah. some people still will ask for the link. Yeah. So we, we will give them the link so that they will go there and read about certain mm -hmm. categories as we are preparing yes. because this there scholarship are specific is requirement for, for specific courses. So if they go to the website, all the information will be there. Oh, okay. 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 So apart from the full challenge that we are talking about, um, is there anything that maybe somebody who is preparing to come to Germany as international students should start right now that can really help the person? Is it uh, about securing the scholarship or about moving to Germany? Or maybe in general, like maybe a, a Ghanaian student who want to, or African student, Nigerian who want to come to Germany. Is there anything that he can prepare that can really, um, you know, help him, uh, help him or her as he want to also navigate through Germany? Um, I would say the issue would be the for the winter season. Yeah, before you come, you have to prepare all your winter way uh, before you arrive. Because German, German's weather is really unpredictable. Right now we are in summer, but sometimes at night it can, the temperature can drop up to about 13 degrees mm. at night. And it's very cold. So the mm. weather is really unpredictable. For those who have, uh, I mean, problem with their bones you know they cannot stand the cold in germany so but they, they were saying that uh, because of code i'm not traveling because of code i'm not traveling what advice will you give to them that people are saying code code yes 
there is award, but there's there are also jackets, there are heaters in the rooms. So and if there's so a problem, manage, there's a solution. Yes, every problem has a solution. So you'll be able to use the heater to console yourself, you know. And then you can also wear uh, warmer clothing in winter. Aside starting from, from that, the I don't see any, starting any... from the journey in Ghana University to this level, what are some of the life experience? Maybe three life experience that you can share with the people because we are the youth and we are the future we are the future generation we are the the leaders we are the beacon of africa we can really transform our society the, the society we are looking for the change starts from now i believe that it will take it gradual by gradual because we we are trying to affect the mindset of people your life generally passing through this versatility of life the tons of life to this level somebody is watching us he really wants to be in the position where you are because you are saying certain things that they wish. What are some of the three key pillars you can give on this platform to inspire or to transpire this idea to people so that they can also understand certain things? Yeah. The first thing I would say is to never give up. As I mentioned, I applied consecutively for five years to get a scholarship. I didn't get any scholarship, but when God destined that I was going to get a scholarship, it took lesser time for me to, to get everything done. I applied in March, and by April, I had my, my scholarship letter. So if you are determined to do something, don't give up. If you know what you want to achieve, don't give up. Also, work hard. Work hard towards what you want to achieve. get uh, recommendation letters from your employers and your pro professors. But how do you get them to give you good recommendation letters? You have to build that uh, rapport between your employer and your professor. Respect them so that any time you call upon them, they'll be able to assist you. I remember one, one, of, one time I wanted to apply for a scholarship. I was in Turkey then. I contacted one of my professors she was doing her PhD here in Germany. She told me she was really busy, but because of the rapport I had with her, she, she spared some time and then she wrote me the recommendation letter and I used it. So if you don't have that rapport, it will be difficult to, to, I mean, to get them to do what you want. I see. Yeah. I see. So these Somebody saying that really uh, the transcript, do, do you need to change the evaluation? Do they evaluate the transcript, the grading system? So for uh, for masters phd you know if you are coming for school usually they don't do that what they want you to do is to certify the documents at the german embassy okay yeah you, and it's also free of charge if you go there it's free they can certify up to three sets of documents free of charge for you so okay. no one so you don't have to go and do any certification anyway i see i i believe what you said is very true because Say, please, any scholarship for undergrad courses, <laughs> somebody is asking. No, German the, government scholarship is usually for master's and PhD. Okay, no master's and PhD. Yeah. Master's and PhD. Yes, there is no, I don't know of any undergraduate scholarship here. I believe, I believe what you're saying is very true. The reason why I'm saying is that we, the people that we are coming as individual or as the youth that we are coming, these are some of the people that's why i try to bring certain youth on my platform just to motivate and inspire the people looking at my brother passing through this applying uh, scholarships rejections and everything media this rejection is passing through no i didn't pass through i applied now well we are finished i didn't even i was about to finish nss now i had my scholarship admission everything but he did he waited for five years so sometimes patient is good some mm -hmm. people rise to certain things that is now like it has become a burden to them. I've been telling people that the main reason why I brought you here is that normally I talk about Canada, United States, US, Canada, because I don't know anything about Germany, just that mm -hmm. I've been hearing Germany, 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 but it is possible, irrespective of the situation, you can still do what other people have been doing. People are sharing their testimony. That doesn't mean that you two cannot get it. Because we are the beacon. If your age mates are doing it, what nothing can hold you tight or hold you back it depends on your mindset and where you want to navigate through your own decision and convictions that is what i believe 
my brother sharing his story here is one of the powerful ways that can be able to affect life and change destinies as well so in in germany to they pay application fees right <laughs> if you're applying usually if you are applying for dad scholarship you don't pay any application fee but there are specific universities which require that you apply through uni assist if you have to apply through uni assist then you pay application fee there okay but if you are applying so, directly to the university you don't have to pay any do they do they fee. give you permanent residence maybe after school do, do German schools do they give you permanent residence as in maybe in Canada after school you can get three maybe if your school is part of DLI and postgraduate work permit you have opportunity to work here three years after that within that three years you can have opportunity to become permanent resident and even translate to citizenship in, in Canada is it what about the, that policy that guide international student in, in Germany what well, Germany policy is it after similar. school what next and before you go to that question, some of the scholarship will allow you to come back. The, mm -hmm. That scholarship after school, there are certain scholarship like common word after school, go back to your home country. Is it part of the agreement or something like that? Yeah. Well, you don't sign any contract that if you finish, you have to go back to your country. But it is their expectation that if you complete your scholarship, you, you, you use the back, knowledge to yeah, go back to help and help your, your country. country to develop. Yes, but like you doing no, development no and those kind of... I, I believe after school, you are bringing the knowledge and the, the wisdom and the, and the understanding to help MPP and NDC, the <laughs> politics in Ghana, to make Ghana develop. <laughs> because you are doing development. So after school, we are waiting... We are waiting for you to bring that knowledge and the development you have seen from Germany to bring it to Ghana to impact and affect that is the, life. That is the idea. That, that is the idea. That, that is the, the idea. Government. This is the yes. idea, but not the real. <laughs> oh, I understand. Okay, I understand. So what about translating you to become permanent resident or something? Is there any guide or something? So after your studies in Germany, you are entitled to 18 months stay. After your studies in your studies Germany, you are entitled Germany. with 18 months you have to live in the country. Graduate and masters. Yeah, you are entitled to uh, an 18 months visa to stay and look for job in your to in stay your field and of look for job. Yes, so in approximately your let's say two okay, 18 one months. Year, okay, one and a half year. So you have one and a half year to stay and look for job in your area of studies. If you find a job within these 18 months. And then you work for two years, you are qualified to get permanent residence. Okay. Yes. So this is the regulation. After your education, you apply for that 18 months stay. And then within that 18 months, you find a, a work in your field of study. Then work for another two years, and then you are qualified to get permanent residence. Okay. okay. And even okay. now they are trying to they are changing the regulation that if you you stay in Germany, though I, I I'm not aware whether it has been passed into law, that if you stay in Germany for three years, and then you have a sufficient German language, and then also you have your master's or whatever degree here, you are qualified to apply for permanent residence. Okay. And or even citizenship. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all that's these fine. regulations. Um, are there. that's fine. That's fine. I believe that this is a great opportunity for other people to know. So what yeah. I will do is that I will need some of the schools, maybe probably, I don't know, but if you get any time or something like that, with the link of the dad, you send it to me, maybe probably tomorrow morning, I can share with people on Monday morning so that I can share with my followers and um, it is going to help you and help us. Okay. Bro, um, I won't take much of your time. God bless you. I think this is the critical questions I'm able to ask. There are yeah. certain things I can't ask you personally yeah. because you are international and then you hold <laughs> certain statuses. So I understand because of legal rules and those kind of stuff. So you need to be smart in certain things and certain questions as well. Um, thank but, you very much. As, after as, this live. Before, before we, we end, let me wrap up this. Anyone who wants to apply for the DA, as I mentioned, should have at least two years work experience get a letter from your one recommendation letter from your professor one recommendation letter from your employer and then your degree must not be older than six years when you apply your degree for, must not be older, than, be six older years. than six years when you apply for the scholarship so these are the most important things i want to end with okay yes. okay use this platform to also
talk about you know like one minute to uh, conclude everything on your part and everybody watching me my facebook followers and everything and then use that also to greet if you have anybody that you want to greet your girlfriend hey, sorry yeah your, your, <laughs> your mother your father or anybody in kumase watching you right now yeah first of all i would like to thank uh, peter for organizing this uh, interview I think it's been more more than six months we've been trying to have this interview, but because of some difficulties, we are we were not able to to meet. So, but finally, Peter has made it happen. So I really want to thank you and I appreciate what you are doing, the work you are doing, how you are trying to help the youth to also reach the level you've reached. You know, some people some people have the uh, the knowledge, just that information is not. So if you share information, they become aware and then they can rise to where they are supposed to be. You get it. So my final words is that everyone should not give up. I mentioned that earlier, but I'm repeating again. Do not give up on your dream. If you have something you want to achieve, work towards that and then God will help you to achieve that. Okay. Yes. This is this is powerful. Do you have anybody to greet in Ghana? Um, I have a lot of friends. Uh, Al Arama Ibrahim is in Tafo. I have Sobor. I have Abdul Basit Sisi. I have Salim Suleiman. All of them are my very good friends, and many more. I cannot mention all, okay. all of them. I cannot mention. Thank you, my brother. Them. And. Uh, it is a great opportunity to talk to you. This is my first time seeing your face. We know we have been talking yeah, for six months, but me, I don't see your picture. Yeah, that's true. This is the first time talking to you right now. And I really appreciate the fact that you honor the request that you even tested me that Peter, let me also come and also try to share the knowledge for people to also see the light. And yes. not everybody in uh, abroad in schools will do that. Some people are here for three years. If you tell them for them to come to, they will say, I have no social media platform. Mm -hmm. We did, we have social media face, so we will come. As we are going, people will be liberated and people will get the information and well informed so that they can be able to make well, um, you know, informed decision making for them to also help them as well. So my brother, thank you very much. I really appreciate thank you. You, you are such a humble Peter, guy, thank you. humble thank person, you, and you talk excellent, you talk wisdom, you talk knowledge, you fulcudated us. God bless thank you. you I will talk God to you later. You bye bye. See you, bye bye. Now, let me tell you this. The most important thing as a student is that you need to be resilient. School application is coming. September. September is coming. School application. Gather your transcript. Gather your certificate. Scan them. Gather your statement of purpose. Statement of purpose. The reason why you want to come and do the courses. I've been educating people on how to write quality statement of purpose. The problem identification the educational link it to your job employment and what you have been doing the internship the things you have been doing extra curriculum add it talk about the university the potent of the department the faculty members the research you want to embark and the last one will talk about your future career goals short term long term how you can able to transform your life empower your own mindset for you to become effective innovative creative for you to be industrious and resourceful in the society linking it toward the perspective of the society after have been teaching this get your cv let people review your cv for you let people proofread your uh, 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 a, a lady tested me three days ago and he 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 was applying to she was applying to one of the scholarship in us right and that scholarship and i reviewed the statement of purpose for her i told her that sister put this put this put this put this put this yes of course it was worth written but there are certain technologies that you, when you bring it it really attract the attention of this committee. And I believe these are the things we have been sharing on my social media platform. Thank you very much for watching me. My name is Peter Bewa. I love you all. Share this video for you to emo motivate other people. A person who is looking to come to Germany will watch this, get an understanding as to how you can prepare enough work before you come to Germany. Now, try as much as possible. In the subsequent days, I'll be bringing powerful videos, mentorship program, career guidance, empowerment, mental revolution, mental investment program that can really empower and liberate other people in africa thank you and god bless you share this video let you inspire other people my name is peter Berua. i love you all bye bye <laughs>